What is good, everybody? Hello, it is I, or Expert. And we're going to be chilling today. We're going to be trying this team out. Mono Humans, Escanor, Purgatory Bond, and two Taunt Units. Because in reality, this team is pretty fucking good without Bond. But now we have Bond. <laughs> so I'm just going to see how that goes out. So, yeah, that's going to be what we're doing today. So, yeah, be sure to like it. Actually, wait. I'm going to give him Sario Link. Red Sario Link. Yeah. There we go. All right, yeah. So, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe. We're going to roll to 500 subs. We chilling, we chilling. And we will also be live streaming all week for until we beat Forspoken, like, fully. So, yeah. Be on the lookout for that. And, you know, shout out to Vader's website. Check out over there if y'all want some merch. The only merch is over there right now is Volume Control. But his merch looks pretty good. So, I advise y'all to go over there and look and see if y'all want any of that. And on top of that, shout out to my other sponsor, Dubby. Um, if y'all want anything in there, you just visit the site in the description. And use my code Aura Expert for 10% off. So, yeah, that's about it. We're going to run in with he, this team and see what happens. So, yeah, let's get going. All right, who we got? Okay. We're on that same vibe. No, okay. That team is kind of interesting, at the very least. Trader Meliodas is an interesting pick, though. I'm mad at it, I, I think. He takes my buffs, so I guess I can't really buff with Bond. Let's turn with an alpha me. AoE. Waste his Arthur card. Wow. This team took an absurd amount of damage. With the AoE, that's supposed to do more damage for less health I have. Why did you take so much damage, bro? Alright, let's see what your plan is. Because if you attack my alpha me three times, you might get cooked. Okay, interesting. Okay. His stance with Arthur. I really can't even use any bonk things. Can I get my bonnet here? I can, technically. Screw it. Let's get the bonnet. <clears throat> Which buff is he? I think he's taking the HP increase buff. Which is fine, in all honesty. He has to work pretty hard to kill my bond at this point. It's probably possible if he has some single targets with Escanor. But I'm wasting his time on that. Okay, it's level two. My bad. Never mind. You did no damage. You're not killing. Having a full human team on the field is just unfortunate, really. So after this, we're going to stand out for me to get the buffs of 30% base stats. And then we ult. And actually, we do this. Let's ult. And then we melt him with Nalfami. Three stacks of Wrath shouldn't be the worst thing ever. Meliodas should just die here. I think Nalfami died. I think. Yep, okay, cool. We're good. We're good. We're chilling. We beat chilling. <laughs> I didn't expect that to actually go as well as it did, to be honest. <clears throat> I was definitely expecting Escador to just punch the hell out of me and I would die. But I guess that's not the case. <laughs> Can you take a level three? Wow, he did. Good shit. Good job now for me. You you out here pulling weight for the team apparently. And you got the end screen somehow. Alright, sure. <sighs> okay, it's all melee, that's not the worst thing ever. As long as it's not trillion duck melee, a demon team isn't the worst thing to face. So let's see. I can take them out relatively easily, but I'm gonna go for the Esco no Esterosa, obviously, because he cucks my entire team. We're gonna stance up. AoE, we're gonna get the traditional start here. Not gonna waste any of my actual good cards turn one. I'm gonna wait for him to attack me a little bit. Huh? 
Giving him stacks with his melee doesn't really matter since he has Esterosa on the team. When he attacks, he's gonna lose the stacks anyway. And then, now for me, stance, he's only allowed to have one debuff. Literally, Brunhild's holy relic. So he's chilling. He can't even be debuffed by melee. Or Hendrickson, for that matter. It literally just replaces the debuff with the newest debuff. I didn't know that, actually. I thought it just it gave me... Kate kept with me the same one debuff. Okay, we chilling. Let's do AoE, finger, finger tuck. Actually, no, I don't want to use that. We do this, we AoE, and then we AoE with now for me. I'm doing it this way because these skills don't scale off HP, and I'm not buffing with Mon's card yet. So I don't want to use my HP scaling skills yet, basically. 113 didn't kill him, didn't even do any real damage, actually. The damage was kind of piss poor. What should I do? I just die? Yeah, they nerfed him. N Wait, is he nerfed? Because I don't think his passive replaced the debuffs. But I guess not. He removed my stance because he died. Okay, we're going to buff up. I'm encroached, but it does not matter because Eskinor can't be lowered. We do this, and then we... I feel like he dies here. Okay, let's go back. Let's go back. The stance. We get some HP, and then we finger touch him. He's removing the treatment, I think. He doesn't die, does he? Ah, oh, that's annoying. He has Tarmio Grace. Okay, he literally just didn't die. Which is fine. He has to get through my... Freaking not for me now. He has the AoEs in there, like 100%. But are they strong enough to kill? That's the other question. I doubt it. Yeah, I take this. You don't have any HP. Yeah, you fucked up, buddy. Okay, let's uh, let's dance with. Arthur, get him some some sort of action. We ult with... I'm encroached right now. That's annoying. Okay, I guess I'm not going to ult with him. Because he's literally encroached. Is he actually Tommy linked up? He is. Okay, let's do this. And then AoE. I can't ult because he's encroached. And I definitely will not kill with an encroached down from it. There we go. Get him out of the face. Does that remove the encroachment? Someone died. Was that Zeltris? <laughs> Jesus Christ. All I heard on the side of the moon. Like, what the foot? Okay. Now we got some HP. No one encroached me. So, my team's looking pretty good. Good tank. Even with the triple um, weak point, he did not take any damage from that. And that was a real player. Nice. He forfeited. Love to see it. You really do love to see it. All right. We move. Who we got? Twigo. And he has to turn one taunt. That's a little annoying. Can he forfeit? I don't think that was necessary, to be honest. But we did have the same team, I guess. So he, I guess he thought since I go first, I just win. Even though he had a taunt with Twigo? I, I don't know, man. Anyways, we move. Yeah, the sheer longevity of me waiting for this opponent, this is definitely a real player. So another question is, how do I go about doing a trillion dark? Do I attack turn one? Depends. If he has Tarmio Link, I'm not. He does not. I think I can kill him then. Without taunting, actually. Actually, I don't think I can. I have so many AoE scaling abilities. It stands with now for me. Waste this AoE. And then buff up with Bond. Let's just attack once. It gives him a reason to waste his cards. 
Because we already know he has two Meliodas cards, so if he uses both of them this turn, he can't really do anything about his true magic buff. We just have to find out. And he does not have any sort of healing. So this team this team is interesting. Why is he using Green Brunhild? Like, I don't understand that, but sure, whatever. He's cleansing air. Love to see it. Okay, he wasted one of his cards. But he can always pull another one. We just have to find out. Let's do... I could technically ult rush my bond. Will he die? It's possible. Yeah, I don't have any way to protect him right now. Let's not do that. It's AoE. Finger Blast. Then... I don't have any actual damage here. Actually, I can't even do anything about that. Let's just get some work in. <clears throat> I'm not killing the melee. I should have targeted Brunhild. Never mind. I still didn't kill. I could have killed Melly. Oh my god. I was not expecting Escanor to just do that damage because Melly is hard to crit. He has like crazy crit resistance. But I guess I have crazy crit chance, even though I don't have a Merlin Link. Let's go. I survived. Do I heal with the Holy Relic? No, I don't. I do now. Thank you. I should have did that first. Oh, oh honestly. <clears throat> See, that's how you forfeit. <laughs> that's how you throw a game. You didn't kill my Arthur. Now he's back at top HP. He got a decent heal, though. Uh, let's do... We buff up. We merge. And then we AoE. We might kill Brunhild. She is green. <laughs> Beautiful. Can't kill a Margaret, unfortunate, but it is what it is. But he has less cards. And I have an ult. And he has buffs. So I wish him luck in this. He better not buff up a Margaret. Or he kills my Bond. That's his only outs here. Oh, no, wait. I got dissolved. Never mind then. He's chilling. My bad. <laughs> I didn't even fucking notice that I had dissolved on my Bond. I hate Melly's passive. It's so... What's the word I'm looking for? It's so hidden, if I should say. Like, if you don't remember that if you don't attack, you get dissolved. Yeah, and I just didn't remember that. And I forgot that that was even a debuff on me because no one on his team dissolves. It's a very hidden passive. Like, very. My hand is garbage. And I'm probably not going to be able to kill his melee. Let's merge. I can't even do anything here. Let's just get Bonzo. We stuns. Get Bonzo. I'm not gonna attack again. Cause I don't want him to get his true magic. I'm still gonna do with Escanor, and I have no idea what ult level he is. From the looks of his team, it looks a little free to play based on the cosmetics. So he might be one six. Might. But, you know, there's a lot of free to play players out there that has, like, a 4-6, 5-6, Esterosa. I mean, Escanor. So, you never know. Yeah, Arthur's going to have to tank this for the team. And he's also draining his own ult. Okay, now he's dead because he has a buff. So we stand up with Nalfemi, get the stats, we ult with Bond, and then we AoE with Nalfemi. He has no damage reduction, so Melio should just die. Yeah, he's dead. <laughs> 239, no crit. Yep, that's a one success, good one. And we won! Let's fucking... That was a good game. Good game on his part. Even though he didn't kill any of my units... He lasted a long time. I'm proud of him. Whew. That was a, a little rough. Trailing Dark Melly workarounds is fun.
this time of year. But all right, let's get on to the last match. Escarosa with Escanor on the team. What is this? He's really trying to capitalize on Escarosa passive, huh? If you don't have Tarmiel on your Escan, oh yeah, you're dead. You cooked. Well, not turn one because I can't really do anything about that. But you know, we we understand. Let's get these cards out of the way. Let's see what he does. How do you handle your Trillion Dock? You tanked pretty well. He has Trader or Tarmiel on his melee. Of course he does. He's cringe. All right, let's see. How do you handle your Meliodas cards? My plan next turn. I don't think I'm dying, right? Because my stances are pretty good. And even if he gets his proc, I don't, I don't think I die here. Does the AoE? No. He's just making me encroached. <sighs> now here's the problem with that. Now I can kill his melee. Like, relatively easily. Without any buffs. Because I would just... Level 1. Level 1 again. And then we AoE. With the Mon. We're not going to stand. Ooh, actually. He's kind of tanky. And he has fucking Tarmi. I keep forgetting about that. Alright, my Escanor is encroached, but whatever. <laughs> This is cool. He can technically kill who he wants, but it's fun. I think. I might have threw the game me here. Maybe. It's very possible. We just have to find out. All right, what, what's your plan, Chief? I'm not saying he still has a single target, unless he drew another AoE with melee. If he did draw another AoE with melee, I'm kind of done. I might have lost if he did that. Okay, yeah. That's death. There's nothing I can do about this. I just lost because I threw. Yeah. Because that team is crazy. Let's fucking go. I don't even want to try to come back with that. So. We're just not going to waste our time. And we could call that the video. Um, overall, I mean, human teams work. I just threw the bag heavy on that last match. That's about it. But in actuality, I should have won that one relatively easily. But instead, I decided to attack the fucking Tarmiel linked melee because I'm fucking stupid. So, yeah, even though I literally told myself seven times in that match, there's a Tarmiel link on melee. And here I go attacking him three times instead of targeting the lesser units. But whatever. We, we move. We move. And with that out of the way, though, that's how we end the video. I still enjoy that team, though. Humans still work, interestingly enough. They're not bad. So, yeah, bro. I will see y'all in the next video. And I see y'all later tonight, I guess. Because I will be streaming Forspoken um, late at night tonight. Whenever that becomes a thing. So, yeah. I guess I'll see y'all on the flip side. Peace.